quick chop technique. This is my standard technique in eyes with cataract of nuclear 2, 3, and 4. One of the advantages of this technique is to reduce the ultrasound energy consumption inside the eye and of course to preserve the corneal endothelium, especially in eyes of corneal gattata or similar corneal endothelial dystrophy. Another advantage of this technique is to uh, you can apply this technique in cases of with dilated pupil, as you can see in this case in particular, when the pupil is not very well dilated, it's around 4.5 or 5 millimeter pupil, you can still apply this technique and I'll show you later why. So now uh, we are ready for proceeding of rexus formation and by injection of some of the viscoelastic inside the eye, we can mechanically dilate the pupil by mechanical stretching the iris tissue and we can proceed with rexus formation in the usual way by just following the edge of the pupillary border of the iris. It depends up upon the experience of the surgeon and if you are not comfortable doing the rexus this way in such a mid dilated pupil of course you should carry on and use one of the pupil expanders like the iris hooks or the malugan ring and if you are confident and uh, to do a rexus formation in such mid dilated pupil of course you can safely do the erexes in these cases. Of course, the air bubble here might uh, compromise the visibility during erexes formation and it should have been aspirated prior to initiation of the erexes. So now we are ready for the next step, which is hydro, hydro dissection, and this should be followed by the phaco emulsification. With the quick chop technique, you can use the standard straight phaco tip or the curved phaco tip. The technique depends on impaling the phaco tip in the very center part of the nucleus and enough to uh, hold the nucleus with the vacuum. Now, again, this is injection of dispersive OPD to protect the corneal endothelium prior to phaco emulsification. And this is now a phaco tip. This is the curved one. And in the left side, I'm using the Neuhand chopper I, uh, made by Goider. I don't have any financial interest in this product. And you can now impale in the very center of the nucleus and with the Neuhand chopper, just dip it vertically close to the phaco tip and split the nucleus into two halves. And then each half can be divided into two quadrants. Now the nucleus can be divided into four quadrants. You can divide it into multiple pieces, as, ma as many as you can. And now we are ready for the next step which is the quadrant removal phase and the instrument i'm using the it's a compo instrument the other side is the nuclear manipulator so i can switch between the chopper and nuclear manipulator very quickly and as you can see now uh, the, each quadrant now can be brought by the high vacuum in the very center part supracapsular plane to be emulsified away from the corneal uh, endothelium and still safe from the uh, posterior capsule. This is the non-edited part of the uh, movie. You can see how fast or how quick the procedure goes with the quick chop technique. So what about the set? The settings is quite similar to the settings of the quadrant removal phase of the divide and conquer. You should use high vacuum around 300 millimeter mercury you can increase or decrease it according to your convenience and of course the aspiration rate should be around 30 cc per minute and the ultrasound should be around 80 or 70 percent according to the phaco emulsification platform you are using and of course you should keep it in linear form and increase or decrease the ultrasound according to the density or the hardness of the uh, nucleus you are, you are going to emulsify and this is the irrigation aspiration of course uh, i forgot to mention that you should keep the irrigating bottle to the uh, highest uh, possible uh, to ensure enough irrigation to counteract the aspiration and the high fluidics during the quick chop technique. So quick chop technique is a vacuum based technique, depends on the high vacuum and high aspiration rate to ensure for good followability and good holdability during chopping of the nucleus. Now uh, we are ready for implantation of the IOL. This is the uh, cohesive OVDs inside the capsular bag. And now this is the single piece IOL to be implanted within 2.2 millimeter incision within the capsular bag. So the key message here is that quick chop technique reduces the ultrasound and it's highly recommended in eyes with cornea gattata 
and of course in eyes with mid dilated pupil because as you have seen that the movement is mostly limited to the central part of the lens capsule you don't have to swing too much within the lens capsule to emulsify the uh, nuclear fragments you just uh, you can split the nucleus into two halves uh, by a minor movement in the very center part of the lens capsule and split each half into two quadrants and then ready for the next phase which is the quadrant removal phase and I'm using here just one settings of the uh, FACO machine as I mentioned before high vacuum high aspiration rate bottle high to the maximum and high ultrasound but should be kept in linear form to increase or decrease the ultrasound accordingly the hardness of the nucleus. This is again an edited part of the uh, FACO emulsification of cases of bit dilated pupil of nuclear 2 to 3 cataract. And now this is a stromal hydration of the wound before conclusion of the surgery. As you can see, the pupil is uh, around 5.5 or 6 millimeter pupil, and the lens is very well centered in place. And now we have concluded the surgery. Thank you very much.